Hello again, and in this video we're at Gordale Scar in the North Yorkshire Dales. It's an amazing location for both photography and for, uh, and for walkers, and there's a lot of walkers around. The interesting thing today is the walk from Malham to here, which is about a mile and a half, um, as uh, it's been raining all the way. We, we are absolutely drenched, hence the, uh, the, the bad hair day today. But you get here and all of a sudden, We've got a piece of blue sky fl bl floating across, quite a bit of cloud in the sky, and, um, and we've got this amazing view down the, down the gorge. I mean, the gorge is behind us, um, but we've got this amazing view down the gorge, through the valley, and we've got this single lone tree on the hill there. And um, that's what I'm going to use for this composition here at Gordale Scar. Now, you know, we always plan for our photography trips, and here comes the sun. Wow, look at that. Out comes the sunshine. Amazing. Um, we always plan for our photography trips and sometimes we don't plan well enough so I have a whole bunch of filter kits and, on, and I use the, um, the Lee 150 system and because I use the 150 system when I'm using this lens which is my 2470 I have to use um, an adapter to fit that system onto the front of this lens guess what it's at home in the cupboard and uh, so today I'd, I'd love to polarise that, that background um, but I can't so it's going to be as it is I'm afraid I uh, can't fit my filter system now I did consider um, using neutral density filters which again I can't today but actually I don't think I need to I it would be nice to try and blur those clouds as they're moving across the, uh, across the, the frame and they, they might make quite a nice streak with a, a nice neutral density filter but you know what? I think the definition of them is, is quite nice, so I'm going to keep it as it is and just take a, a relatively short exposure. Now looking at this frame, we've got the river here that, that kind of runs in from, this, from the right hand side and then through the image into the valley between the two hills. And then that hill takes you up to that tree which is nicely placed on the, on the third, so hopefully that's going to be my, um, going to be my, be my image today. Now, kit obviously I'm using my kit to the tripod I've got my Nikon D850 and I've got as I said already a Nikon 24 to 72.8 lens on the front for settings I am shooting f18 now that's quite a quite a, a, a high depth of field but I do want to try and get some of these this foreground interest the, the edge of the river these rocks here and the rocks in the water nicely in focus and particularly that big rock there in the mid in the mid ground and obviously the tree in the background so I want a quite large depth of field so I'm going for f18 here comes the sun again. Um, when the sun comes out, it's absolutely glorious. And then the cloud will come over, goes dark for a moment, and any minute now, I, I would expect it to pour down because it has literally poured it down for the last couple of hours. Um, but the, the thing about the weather is when you've got these changeable conditions, they, they may make the, the walk in, the photography very difficult, but sometimes you can get amazingly moody pictures. And, um, and maybe we'll get that in this in this picture here. So let's let's take this picture and see uh, and see how we get on. So I just take that frame. Perfect. Done. Let's have a look at that image. Well, as you can see, we we have got the river running through the through the frame, a nice leading line from the river. We have got that tree nicely in the corner, and we've got some great definition in those clouds. Um, I'm just wondering whether this would be better as a black and white just because of that, that cloud definition. So let's have a look at it in black and white. Is it better? Is it worse? I don't know. You make your own mind up. Um, but I think they're both okay images to be completely fair. So um, you, make, you, you make your own mind up. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, uh, please leave, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, they've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.